T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Reviewing Transformers Masterpiece MP32 Convoy, who we all knew as Optimus Primal. Shout out to Extra Zero for giving this to me in a gift exchange. There'll be links at the end of the video and in the description and probably sitting up there so you can watch that. But let's get into this figure right now. Here's the front of the packaging. This was actually part of Beast Wars 20th anniversary. Hasbro kind of didn't do anything with that. We're getting a new Optimus Primal figure within the power of the Primes, but they let the slip of pass and Beast Wars was a major moment in Transformers history because it got a lot of more fans on board and it definitely came out around the time of the internet age. Beast Wars was a major thing and that's why they're getting their own figures right now in Masterpiece. He comes with this collector's cart right here with the artwork that was around the original figures, which was nice. It looked like some type of reptile with a green eye. And if you didn't notice, the font for Transformers is actually different and reminiscent of the United States Beast Wars font for Transformers. So you can see here's a comparison of the different fonts right there. It would have been nice if they maybe put Beast Wars under there somewhere really big, like they have more than meets the eye. But there's the main differences right there the instruction manual folds out sort of like the old beast wars instruction manual but they're fully colored have these nice little backdrops to give you like a little jungle scene cartoon images and everything and all the other accessories instructions right there read this as you can see here if you want the light up feature you need some lr44 batteries I believe that's the same thing that goes in MP36 Megatron. But the top of the battery, or the little part with the ridge in it, they both should be facing the same direction as you put it in right there as illustrated. To get right into that since I brought up the batteries, you can lift up the head and just pop it off on a ball joint. The screw is right there, unscrew that and pull this off. And it's simple as that, but now to get into Optimus Primal right here. I love this face. I used to love this cartoon. I can still watch it now on my DVD sets. But that face sculpt is so accurate. The paint texture is very reminiscent of the low polygon levels of the cartoon. That is very nice. Like it doesn't look like real fur. It's just the texture on the, the polygons. Now, unlike some of the other Masterpiece figures that we have out there, the alternate mode, which is this guy, got the least amount of love. He, he They had to make the most amount of compromises. One thing being the case is, I don't like that this doesn't close all the way. I wish that it would close that much to cover up that robot piece kibble sticking out right there. But when you bring the arms this way anyway, it bumps right there. So I don't know if there's anything they could have did to, to combat that. But other main problems is this right here. And they don't hide it on the front of the, on the box. They actually go ahead and show you all that so you know what you're going to be getting and working with when you open this toy up. And you have the robot mode kibble back here. So... Yeah, that didn't come out as clean as it could have, or maybe this is the best they could do, but standing straight up with the arms like this, it's not that big of a deal. But other articulation, the head can lift up. You can look up a lot, pivot the head and whatnot, spin all the way around. The arms can, they have a butterfly joint. You can go up to there, spin all the way around. They have this bicep or above the elbow rotation and this elbow bends more than 90 degrees. Unfortunately, it leaves this right here. A lot of people hate that. It doesn't bother me too much. I mean, I guess they could have did something where they had a little piece coming out and another piece coming out right here that matches so that they could swing together or look like it's connected more, but they didn't do that. The wrist rotate and the hands open up and the index finger is separate. 
And the actual fist does move a little bit inside of this joint right there. It's not just reliant completely on that. Waist, you don't really get the waist joint because it's up in there for robot mode, but you can kick the legs out that much. And he has a hinge right here that can rock back so that you can get his legs forward and being able to look up like this and having this butterfly joint, he can get into some more gorilla-like stances right there, which is cool. The feet are on a, a pivot right there, so it pivots and it can come up a little bit and go down like that. So that's cool. They try to give you this little piece to cover up the rope the metal parts showing right there it doesn't really have any knees but you can fake it out you could bend this back like this rock this forward and have a more bent knee look if you want just don't turn it around and you'll see all that so if you do that it can look like his knee is bent a little bit and I like that with the articulation, he can be expressive like I was showing when I first started this. But just like SH Figure Arts and the new way that they're, they're going with the Transformers Masterpiece lines, he comes with a bunch of our accessories. And I do have a problem with these accessories a little bit. And I'll go into that. See how things like kind of smoothly fit in right here? Like he didn't much have ears in this mold mood so much even in the show but you just pop the face right off and let's go with this angry face now it kind of looks better now but there is still some gapage right there it's almost like uh, it almost makes me feel like these faces are knockoff quality because I can't get them all the way back in and that's something that you get with a knockoff type toy. The skin tone or the, the fur tone is a little bit lighter on this face than it is with his neutral face. Eh. So it doesn't match his head so well. Not as well as this one. But there you go right there. This is a face he constantly had. I think they could have painted his tongue what they didn't. You're darkening things up a bit. You can see his pink gums right there. But I think they should have painted the tongue. I can't remember if it was actually red or pink on the show. But pop that off again. And now he has another face he constantly used. Get on here. What the heck? Alrighty then. There we go. Uh, this one is good on that side again. But it's a little bit gappy over here which is frustrating but here he is with the grin and you can see that they painted his tongue right here but this is a face he constantly used a lot all in all he's nice he has this extra peg right here that a lot of people say is for the generations rap trap because he, you can put rat trap on here and he can ride on his back like he often did on the show Especially in robot mode, which we are about to get to after I do a little bit of comparisons. So, as you can see here, he is taller than a typical Autobot car in, in gorilla mode. And he's almost as tall as Masterpiece movie Bumblebee, who towers over these regular cars right there. With all of that done, let's move on to transformation. What you want to do is push this head back down right there. Rotate the butterfly joint forward and grab right here opening this up right here now this is going to be difficult and you don't you want to be safe with your masterpiece figures but there's no other way i can find to do this grab this and just pull that out because it's tabs in right there around the neck very tightly now we can move that back open this chest part up Move that out of the way and go ahead and grab his belly, opening it up like that. Now, basically, we want to have this at such an angle so that when you start rocking this back, his head can clear that 
and the gorilla head can clear this right here so we did that now we can sink this deep inside of his chest and replace it with his stomach <laughs> we could grab here rotate that and shove that back into place go ahead and right now rotate his waist around to make sure that that's out of the way you can bring this down it basically this is one thing that's annoying in gorilla mode these shoulder pads they stay where you leave them so you'll have to constantly adjust this while you're posing the gorilla around but basically this is his robot arms and there's nothing more you need to do with that now we can go ahead and flip this out while flipping the monkey toes in or the gorilla toes in ape toes for the anal people same thing over here go ahead and grab this panel bring it out like that and rotate it there's not a lot of clearance and I don't like that part but clip that into place clip that into place start bringing the legs back like this and while we have it back like that go ahead and rotate this kneecap out start swinging this down and grab this panel put that in place and basically bring that up same stuff over here bring this down lift this up and bring this into place then we can shove his crotch back up that way and start messing with this puppy right here rotate this around like that lift it up or lift it up move these out of, out of the way for a second there are some tab holes right there when it was reversed the other way they were tabbed into this but now we need to tab these tabs into the tab hole sometimes you'll think you put it in that tab hole but you didn't you know you did it right as if it stays there and if you can bring the cannons slash rockets down like that and have a ton of space in between the peg and the end of the rockets or guns but basically he's done he's a robot and I like him I like him a lot let's do a close-up on his face unfortunately mine has a blemish right there on his cheek so there you go with that but this face is very detailed just like the cartoon you can spin all the way around you can look down a bit you can look up you can pivot the head but the cheeks bump into you there and if you have the batteries in his eyes light up which is very cool and when you rock it I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it like it almost looks like he has an eyeball in there which is cool but it, can you pop no oh wait I know what I can do when you're changing the face this is what it looks like without the face plate on I wish the face plates were easier to take off but while we're taking that off let's show you the other faces I don't know whether to count this as a weakness but the lips are so dark that really you have to have lights on like I have on right now to actually see the change in his expression right now he's smiling which he did a lot let's show you the lights on and I just realized that one of his eyes is kind of squinted while he's smiling this is his like yelling face his mouth is open but like I said it's so dark you can't you can barely friggin tell and here's one face that I used to want him to have in a cartoon but then I got used to him looking like this so I kind of like this better Beast Wars introduced if I'm not mistaken introduced him having like an actual optional armor plating over his mouth and just having lips to be his normal face but on this figure and not so much the cartoon I actually like this face plate so it's a good option right here 
And I guess this was the compromise because the original toy had that mutant face. But I guess on the show they decided, let's have give him regular lips and then have the regular op optional Optimus Prime face. Like on the show, if you push your finger right here into this, and the original toy, sorta. You can pull out his optional shotgun barrels right there, which is cool. But I love that they were able to implement this in his arm and make them be a good length. I don't think they were much bigger than this in the show. And he actually does have it on both arms, which I love that they went that route with that. I can't remember if he used, I think he did sometimes use them on both arms. So there you go with that. If you don't like that, you can have it like this, but looking at images, it was like this on the show. The original toy, his whole forearm burst open and he had, his, turned his whole forearm into a big shotgun with monkey hands or gorilla hands hanging off the side. His last accessories, he comes with two of these swords that are very nicely painted. I don't know. I guess that would be accurate. I don't, I don't know. That kind of looks messier on this side. But they're nicely sculpted. And they fit into the hands. Just like other masterpiece figures. I wish they retired this type of design. Because the figures never hold these things as tight as I would like it. And that is very frustrating but of course you could do all types of poses with him because he has these nice butterfly joints and whatnot and when you're tired of them being in his hand they do store on his back if you have them in the correct orientation or have this transformed correctly like I said it needs to have space right there and this is why you need that space here he is with both swords on his back. Only problem is they bump into his legs depending on the pose you want. But I really like all his options and I like the accessories and whatnot. For final feature, these can rotate and come over the shoulder. You did that a lot on the cartoon. And if you open this up, pull this out. You can bend this forward rotate this like that until that sits flush plug these back into place and now he has what he called the prime jets so he can fly and whatnot and let's let you get a close up on this detail right here it would have been nice if they painted it blue or something so you can see like a thruster light effect or maybe even gave us some fire effects to put there but there you go with that so you can be sh shooting forward or maybe you could leave them back like this as extra rockets but I really like this figure and let's get into his full range of robot mode articulation I showed off the neck the arms still have the butterfly joints and all the articulation that the gorilla mode had just you can see more details so I don't even need to go over the hands because we did all that you get this waist joint right here. You can see the legs can kick out like that. Kick forward, kick all the way back. The knees bend here, but you could break that and give him a double joint in here if you like. He has good ankle articulation with this piston moving up and down. I really like that detail in the foot can do this or toe can do this and do that. And the heel spur can come down a bit. So he has quite a bit of articulation. And let's say you're doing a flight pose or whatever. Because of that extra articulation you had in the hips, you can lift his butt up higher for poses like this so his leg can be up in the air a little bit more. And I really like the way that looks. Now, I would say that works as an ab crunch, but it doesn't really work as an ab crunch. I mean, you can use it for your posing if you wanted to, but yeah, doesn't really add too much but end of the day I do like this Optimus and I like his robot mode here he is next to the other most popular Optimus Prime masterpiece figures 
and this is what he looks like next to that bumblebee in robot mode he is taller and here is prowl so that gives you some of the idea of why this guy was like over a hundred dollars when he came out because not only is he a big guy but he has a ton of accessories and he does have he does have some weight to him i don't i need to get a scale but even though this doesn't have like die cast it almost feels as heavy as this bumblebee right here so that's cool now here's something I don't normally do, but since it's almost Christmas and it's actually fun, I've transformed this thing back and forth. This is the most fun masterpiece to figure to transform in my opinion so far. Now he is a gorilla again, and he can shield himself away from the radioactive energon that bothered them so much in the first season of the show. And this is a nice figure and a nice set. If you pull that out too far, it will pop off. Duh. But anyway, I really like this guy. Thank you, Extra Zero, so much because I probably would have ended up never getting him. He's been on my back burner forever, and I've been wanting it, but not buying it. So, definitely thank you. Thank you all for liking this video. Thank you for clicking the like button, and thank you for subscribing and all that good stuff. Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. Thank you for watching. Click, click the videos. Click the in videos, baby, click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those in videos, baby, click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click that shit. Go ahead and click that shit. If you did, you would like it. Really, really click that shit Now I'm freaking gone